morning and welcome to my channel. Gorgeous, sunny, chilly, slightly warm, kind of rainyish uh, morning that we had. I was so excited to finally try and bake something new that I haven't done before, which is a banana bread. I've already baked and tried a pumpkin bread and it came out so, so good. The recipe that one of you YouTubers gave me that does a bake on Friday, thank you guys so much. I've tried it, it's awesome. Uh, the loaves came out amazing, and I'm actually making it along with my sweet potato um, casserole that I do for every year for my Thanksgiving that I bring to my in-laws. My husband this morning took my car because the seats fold down compared to his car. And he's having a fun day with our nice car, so he can take in the stuff, taking in the tables and the chairs. So let's get started on our baking banana bread this morning. Now, if you don't have a fancy, fancy KitchenAid, this is called my Baby Blue KitchenAid. I gave it a name, it's my baby. My husband doesn't use it because he doesn't know how, and when he wants to try it, he uses it with me, so I'll get him kind of in action and doing it. So there's several things you need. My oven is already preheated to 350 degrees. That's, now, here's something you should try. If you're baking a recipe and it tells you a little bit higher of a temperature, you can try it. My oven trays, my oven stays true to the temperature. If you bake something at 350, it will bake it at 350. You don't need to raise it, you don't need to lower it. Some ovens are faster, some ovens are slower, just depending on your oven and what kind of um, like what it is that you're making and depending on the temperature. So now I have to give credit because remember these aren't exactly my my own written recipes so I'm giving credit in my YouTube video to allrecipes.com which I'll link in the link below. They provided me with a wonderful banana bread recipe which is very very easy. Now. It tells me here you will need a 9 by 5 inch loaf pan. So this is a loaf pan that I use. And this one I got it. You can actually shop anywhere. Go to Target. Uh, you can find them sometimes in department stores. They sell them like Macy's, Bloomingdale's. They have a home section. I know they sell them. I always go to Bed Bath & Beyond. That's where I buy all of my cooking supplies. So this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. That you can basically unscrew it. And then you add your uh, meat compartment, which I have. And you can grind your meat, you can do pasta out of it, whatever you want. I haven't tried doing the ground meat or whatever. I should try that. But um, I have this already on. And I have my little whisk right here that's already on. And I turn it on like this to make sure it's working. Some people have a locking feature, which I do. I never really use it, I don't know why they provide it, but I think what's good about it is if you have kids, whether they're young or older, and you see them trying to do something with the KitchenAid, just, you know, you can have them work with you, or you can teach them, you know, this is not a toy to play with, it's, you gotta be safe. Because I took a big bowl like this, I've seen in YouTube videos, they have these like preset stuff that they use for baking, so they have a big baking bowl that's used to put their ingredients in. You have the little ones for the little stuff. I don't, so I use whatever's in my house. Here, a uh, mashed up three bananas. And they have to be ripened. How do you know if they're ripened? Well, as you can see right here, it starts to get some brown spots. That's when you know it's a little over ripened. It's probably not good for eating wise because you don't want to overripen eating banana, which I've eaten it, it's fine. I made smoothies with it, no problem. But they tell you, I guess, in a lot of baking recipes, especially this one, that it needs to be overripen. I think it has something to do with it being a little bit more sweet in your recipe. I think that's why they recommend it to be a little bit overripen. If it's not ripen enough, just wait a few days. I didn't want to wait. What I did was. I told myself whenever we go shopping, if I happen to hit a day where the bananas are a little over ripened, I'll buy them and then the next day I'll make it. So I bought them yellow yesterday. They were really, really yellow. And today they started to a little bit over ripen. Now, you'll need a half a stick of butter. This is what I use. It's called Imperial Butter. You can use any butter brand you want. This is the baking type. 
So that's what I use. If a recipe doesn't call for a baking type butter, then I use something else. But this is what I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and open my stick. Now, this is a trick that I've learned in baking. You're not going to put a whole stick in right away. So I'm going to break it into chunks. Just like this. I'm just going to mash it up. The recipe tells us you first have to preheat the oven, which we did, in a large bowl combined flour, baking soda, and salt. Okay? So. Let me. Okay. So this is one of my uh, bowls that I use for baking stuff. Uh, you can put it in the oven to melt, you can put it in your dishwasher, safe, perfect. So in here, I have two cups of all-purpose flour, I have one teaspoon of baking soda, and I have one-fourth of teaspoon salt. If you put a little bit less salt, it's okay, a little more, it's not going to hurt or break it. As long as you have the right ratios for everything else, then you're good to go. Other butter and brown sugar, okay? So this is my brown sugar. Creamy means you mix them together and you combine them. So this is what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Now, this is something else I learned in baking. Is when you start this, don't start really high at first. So I'm going to set it into my stirring position, which is a one. Then I'm going to do two. Stir in eggs and mashed bananas until well blended. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna add is my egg mixture. These are two eggs that were lightly beaten. So I'm gonna pour it all in there, just like that. So pour it in there, just like that. And then, it says to put in the bananas as well. I'm gonna mix this first, just to give it a little mix. And then I'm gonna add the bananas and mix it. You can, I like I said, I'm following the recipe to example. The only thing that I'm tweaking is, instead of combining the eggs and the bananas right away, I usually let it just kind of like sit in there. So this is how I'm mixing it a little bit. Okay, and next I'm going to put in the bananas. Now, I have one of these which are amazing. I have the small one and the big one. Definitely buy this. This is by Cafalon. Add these in there. Ooh. Let me bring this kitchen aid up. Okay. Oh my god, what did it just do? I just felt like it was a little like, like a little volcano exploded. Like, just went right in there. Okay, now I'm gonna use this because I want to be able to get in there all the stuff. dry ingredients. The recipe is a little bit differently in the fact that it tells you to pour the wet stuff into the dry stuff. I always pour the dry stuff into the wet stuff because that's what I did with baking my pumpkin bread. I use a mixer to mix all of my actual ingredients and then I use my hand to kind of mix it up so I don't over mix it. These will tell you you can use a baking spray, you can use butter. I use a baking spray because I'm I don't know. Uh, what are your thoughts on? Should I do butter next time? Butter the pan up. I think I'm going to use this one. Just because it's easier. Anything that's convenient for me and it's so much easier, this is definitely so much easier. Alright, just like that. Look at that. How nice it's so buttered. Okay. So I'm scraping everything I can. I'm not always happy with the spatula. You know, I have this like hate and love relationship with my spatula. But today it's being a good little spatula and it's being a big boy and a big girl, I say. And it's 
I can get the little magic for me. Like, cool and ready to go. And now, I'm gonna kind of. You know that my hair is up, which is so cool. I'm going to my friend's 30th birthday party tonight. She's thinking about doing some kind of a girl's trip for her birthday another time, but she wanted to do a party for all of us. So my husband's finally joining me. And I always wear my cutie little Japanese apron. I bought this at the gallery market. I don't know if they still have it. I have to show you my weather. Look at that. This is my gorgeous, gorgeous weather. I've had not too hot today. It's not too sunny. It is absolutely amazing. We have a Maytag oven. It was something that I really, really wanted in my kitchen. And when we did remodels to this house, that was something I had to have in the kitchen. So now I'm putting in my pumpkin bread right in there. All right. Now, as any cook, it is also very important that you time how long you're supposed to cook your banana bread for. So, it says here, bake and preheat an onion for 60 to 65 minutes. Now, mind you, whenever it says 60 to 65, it's because it depends on your oven and your range. Now, I'm setting my cooking timer to 65 minutes. So for 65 minutes, it is actually going to bake. But what I do is in 60 minutes, I'm going to come into the kitchen and I'm going to test it out with my little toothpick. If it's good, I take it out. If not, then I let it cook all the way through up until 65 minutes. Back in my kitchen, I just let my baked banana bread cool for 10 minutes. Then I took it out and I placed it on one of these like... Um, paper towel and I cut them up into slices. And this is my finished baked banana bread. Mm -mm, it smells oh so good. Sorry, my camera shook a little. But I took some walnuts, I crunched it up, and then I took one of my favorite jam. This is by Saint de Fleur. It's from France. It is all natural red raspberry pomegranate. You can find this at any supermarket. I have found this at Ralph's. I actually buy this at Sprouts. It's a really, really good price there. It could be three to four or something. It just depends. That's the one thing I splurge on is jam because I know it's so, so good and I'm also so loving it. And my hair has come so beautiful tonight for my friend's party. I'm so excited. It was back to my banana bread. So I took a little piece since I didn't want to eat so much because I know I'm going out tonight eating. And I actually spread out some jam in there. As you can see, it is so good, oh, good. So, so, so good. And then I put nut toppings. I'm going to take a delicious bite out. Mm. Just the smell and the aromas already lure you in into wanting to eat this all day. You can have it for breakfast, for tea time, dessert. You can even have it as an after dinner treat. It's so good. It definitely tastes like banana and a bread infused together. It is so, so good. I absolutely love this. It's so, so good that way to get out of my. Now I'm going to get to the rest of my afternoon by getting to tending to my laundry. Now when my husband comes home, he's going to try some of this delicious banana bread. And then tonight we're heading out to my friend's 30th birthday. One of her favorite uh, sushi restaurants by her home. Then we're going to her home to have all this other cake and other stuff. So I'm going to end my video here. and Thank you so much for tuning in on this wonderful day. As I showed you and learned for the first time to make banana bread. And if I can make it on the first time and do a video out of it, then I know you can. And don't forget, I'm inspiring all of you new chefs to go out in the kitchen and bake. Have some fun with it. If it didn't turn out the first time, then that's okay. So I remember when I first started cooking and baking, nothing turned out the first time, but eventually I got the hang of it and I had to do a recipe and follow it. And this is so, so, so easy. 
And maybe I'll do a video soon and show you how I make my pumpkin bread. Oh my god, it's so good. I'll show it to you guys one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Art and Teacher. If you have any questions, comments, you want to put up your recipe that you've done for banana bread or pumpkin bread and all other stuff related, please write in the comment box below. I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.